Hello, giraffes. I have another book for you. I got this from our bookshelf, so you may have seen it already and read it at reading time. It's kind of wrinkled up like a lot of people enjoyed it, but I've never read it to you, and I want to read it right now. It's called Ruby Finds a Worry, and from the front cover, you can tell that this little girl must be Ruby. Now, she's a lot different from our Ruby that we know, but she spells her name the same way. If you look, it's R-U-B-Y, Ruby. And the little yellow creature beside her must be her worry. How strange. I didn't know you could see a worry. Ruby Finds a Worry was written by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow and each day it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. I wonder if you've ever felt worried. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. And what if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby did not realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. I wonder what she can do to get rid of this worry. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. That's a big worry. I bet Ruby would love to get rid of it. And the worry took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. See that blue thing? Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. 
other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Just because he's talking about his worry to Ruby, it starts to shrink. Because remember, the blue one is his. The yellow one is Ruby's. Hers is still pretty large. I wonder what she could do to make it smaller. Then Ruby did the best thing you can do ever if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. I hope that you enjoyed that book. And I hope that if you have anything that is a worry and it's on your mind that you will talk to somebody in your house about it. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today. We wish you well. See you next time.